In 1950s, sir, when the constitution was formed, the first victim was people from Tamil Nadu. The challenge, the, the communal jivo was challenged on the basis of equality. And the reservation, I mean, the framer of one of the framers of the constitution, Allah de Kishasam Ayer, appeared for the petitioner and the Madras High Court struck down the communal jivo. Government, state government went on appeal. Supreme Court also struck down. Sir, I would like to remind this house, sir, Periyar Anna and our great comrades of the Congress party, all of them revolted against the judgment passed by the Supreme Court. Our former Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was magnanimous. He accepted the will of the people of Tamil Nadu and Tamil Nadu was the state which was responsible for giving the first amendment to the Constitution of India. 1951, we the people of Tamil Nadu, because of the revolt and the voice raised by the dealers of our Dravidian movement, the first constitutional amendment was made. But today, sir, the neat exam, formerly we were fighting with the upper class, out of five, seven years of struggle, now our people, medical doctors have come up, and Tamil Nadu has become a medical hub. To curb all this, now this need has come. Now the fight is between the haves and half and hours. Previously it was, what, it was between the upper class and the backward. Today in Tamil Nadu, sir, it is a fight between the have and have nots. Who are successful in the NEET exam? What has this government achieved by imposing this NEET exam? Scandal after scandal. Impersonation. Papers being, question papers being leaked. Correction of papers, corruption is there. Collusion between the paper setters and the coaches, coaching institutions. So, in Tamil Nadu, sir, 30 people have committed suicide, 13 students of the backward community and the poor people who are below poverty line. A student who secured 100 out of 1,200 marks, 1,159 marks obtained by one student did not get the seat in the medical college. She committed suicide because of this neat exam. Coaching centers are, people are going to the coaching centers. Those who go to the coaching centers are getting the opportunity of getting into, uh, passing the NEET. Therefore, our Chief Minister M.K. Stalin, in the elections in 2011, gave an assurance to the people of Tamil Nadu. Once we come to power, we will scrap this NEET. NEET, to scrap this NEET, uh, to exempt Tamil Nadu from the NEET examination, Please conclude. One more, one, one, one minute. I'll conclude, sir. I'm coming to the end of it. So it was passed by the state legislature, sir. It was unanimously passed. But it was sent to the governor, sir. The governor is sitting over it for the past four months. Is it fair, sir? Since it is in the education, it's the con concurrent list, we will have to necessarily send it to the president. He has neither sent it to the president or past any comments, he's lying over, sir. So, I would request these sort of injustice should not be committed, sir. We are in a federal setup. Our great Anna said once, with this I want to conclude, sir, in Tamil, which means there is no necessity for a goat to have a beard. Likewise, there is no necessity for a state to have a governor. I think that will come true in the days to come. Thank you. Thank you.